Yeah, go. Hi, I'm Mithali and Myra from grade 9 and we conducted an experiment to test the effect of magnetic fields on the growth of plants. So here we have three pots. In this pot there is a ring magnet which has the strongest magnetic field. In this one there are bar magnets which have a slightly weaker magnetic field. And this is the control setup with no internal magnetic field. And as you can see in the same duration of time, the, ones, the one with the ring magnet grew the most. The one with the bar magnet um, grew slightly less and the one with the no magnet in it grew the most. So in the plant cells, the mitochondria have proteins called cryptochromes which, which regulate the plant growth and plant development. And they are coded by two genes, Cry1 and Cry2. Cry1 is responsible for the circadian clock of a cell. So the circadian clock is a 24 hour cycle that, is, that uh, mediates the biological processes and the time taken by them. Yeah, so when a magnetic field is applied to a plant, it alters the structure of the cryptochromes and this in turn can affect the circadian clock of a plant. So the circadian clock regulates different biological processes and when and for how long they take place. So when the magnetic field is applied and the cryptochromes, are, the structure of the cryptochromes is altered, the circadian clock's timings can also be changed. So for example, if cell division takes place for a certain number of hours in a day, when the magnetic field is applied, this number of hours can be increased, which leads to more plant growth in the one with the higher magnetic field. Other biological processes like stomatal conductance, the time period can also be increased, which increases photosynthesis as well. And then in flowering plants, the time for which a flower is open for pollination can also increase, which increases successful pollination. So all of these processes combined increase the plant growth and have positive effects on the plant. Thank you.